right, this is a big bowl. Sprouts. Okay, I'm gonna use the rest of these sprouts, the broccoli. Up the rest of the tomatoes. Okay, now I'm going to add some onion and then I'm going to cut up some celery. So, yeah, the celery is going to go in here. Um, I put the green onions in here. I'm going to put the red peppers in here. Um, I'm going to eat, put the rest of the cucumber in here. So, this salad usually, salads don't have to have this much stuff. I'm just there's stuff I want to make sure I eat before it goes bad. So, you know, a little bit of tahini. Um, so I think that that's going to be my dressing. So anyway, like again, I say, I mean, the simpler the salad, the better. So like you don't need like seven ingredients for your salad, but, uh, I'm trying to be like, uh, smart about this so that like my, you know, my food doesn't go bad or anything like that. So, um, okay. So yeah, look at that. That's the celery. Now let's get to the you know, okay. cut this up. That's that. And then now let's put the cucumber in there. There's chunks in there. Now, <laughs> if you would freaking believe that a salad could be this freaking huge, I'm going to cut this whole thing and I'm putting all of that red shard in here. I'm mixing it up together. How big the salad is. This salad looks like it's big enough to serve four people or five. Well, I say four people. Um, okay, so the very last step is I'm going to put, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of these crackers. You can look these up online if you ever want. Um, it's just going to be very, very small amount. Like just this, or <laughs> probably a little more than that. But I'm just kind of giving like a, it's kind of like a Thai flavor, you know, because this is like the creamy sauce and, you know. So let me go ahead and crunch that on there. Like that. Okay. Yes. And then the very last step, okay, is the dressing. So let's pour some of that dressing on there. This creamy dressing, which is kind of runny, but all right. So, and then I'm going to mix it up. This is going to be, uh, I guess it's going to be kind of like a Caesar salad. All right. And then I'm going to mix this up. And uh, I'm going to eat this whole thing, y'all. But this is like the way. Like, I get, look, y'all, I'm not going to be hungry till like 6 o'clock. But this is normal okay because like one like do you know that this like even this like this huge salad is not as many calories as one cheeseburger like a small cheeseburger that you would get at uh what's my favorite place okay in and out <coughs> i think an in and out cheeseburger would be more than this okay this is freaking huge but I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be, um, but the interesting thing is like, this doesn't make me feel sluggish. It doesn't make me feel tired. Um, it's just like, it takes away all my cravings, you know? So like if, if anybody's like ever interested in doing the raw food, this is it. This is a key right here. Making sure you have a huge salad, making sure you have your fat. I mean, you don't have to like go overboard and have too much fat. Like I have, I had, I do have two fats in here. Like I have the, you know, like I say the tahini and then I have the avocado. Um, a whole avocado, but also let's uh, look at the calories of an avocado. An avocado is 400 calories, which some people would freak out about that and be like, oh my goodness, 400 calories. But if you eat one bag of Cheez-Its in a soda, which is considered a snack, that is the same. Actually, that is more calories than an avocado. And not to mention an avocado, it's like... Um, when people are putting the right things in their body, the body's actually working and it's able to process food better so then it doesn't hold on to stuff, you know? And I think that that is like what fat is. A lot of times our body just holding on to stuff because it doesn't know what to do with it. But if the body like recognizes the ingredients, which these are like pure ingredients, like there's no GMOs in there, like there's no preservatives, there's like, this is all clean then the body will process it a lot better. Um, I am eating, um, just because of the fact that, you know, <laughs> I've been eating really bad for like uh, 36 years, um, I'm gonna have some enzymes, okay? I'm gonna have like four enzymes um, to eat with this. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and eat. I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. This is day six on the raw food game. And I got this. You know what I mean? I got this. Um, I will tell y'all another thing, y'all. Sorry, I'm kind of talking y'all's ears off here. 
what happens in the very beginning, like if you're trying to do raw food, it does not sound good. Like, you know, okay, if there is like a cheeseburger and there's a banana, like if you're eating like a cooked food, you know, like, um, and you're eating like meat and things like that, of course the freaking hamburger is going to, is going to be a lot better, you know, cause it has a lot of like, depending on where you get it, it has like a lot of chemicals in there. Like, you know, and it has like, um, it, it's like a drug and it creates like a whole bunch of serotonin. So it's like literally the chemical that's like, you're going to like be more, uh, prone to want to have. So, but what happens is the more that you eat this, you know, like I say, it doesn't taste good in the beginning, but what happens is your taste buds start cleaning up and then all of a sudden you start salivating over fruit and you start salivating over greens. And it just takes a little bit of time to where you get that because like, you know, like I say, the taste buds are like completely like blotched or botched or whatever like that because it's like it has all this stuff on the tongue that like completely messes with it like msg all kinds of stuff so then um but yeah when your taste buds I, look i know this to be true because when i was doing raw before like i was doing like it uh for like two weeks and then i just ate beans that was it i ate cooked beans and my tongue was hurting it was like cutting my tongue and it was just beans like the starch was doing that so i know that the raw food does clean up your taste buds so eventually this stuff is going to start tasting freaking good, you know, and the cooked food, it still may always be like, there's still, it still may be appetizing just because it, you know, like you get on such a high when you're eating like cooked food, like it's just the greatest high, like it feels good at the time, but then you have a crash later. But, um, but yeah, the more that you're eating, you know, like huge salads and you're just drinking a smoothie. And you're making sure you get your fats in there you're gonna be okay like you're not gonna be crazy you know a chocolate cheesecake or uh, chips and things like that but the key is to take away the cravings have as many greens as possible have like a pound of greens a day um, and I would say in the very beginning I would not do spinach just because it could form kidney stones and you know like if you've been drinking soda for like the longest time or whatever like that it can look I know this to be true because I start, when in the very beginning when I was trying to do raw food, um, I was drinking a lot of um, smoothies with uh, spinach in it, and I could feel like I could feel like crystals forming in my body. Like I could feel like I was starting to get kidney stones, and I was just, like, you know. And then I, I went to the dentist, and this lady I was telling her about the greens, and it was just weird because she gave me this information. She said that her brother was going on, you know, he was doing the smoothie thing too, and he started forming kidney stones. And then I started researching about it, and it's it's the spinach that oxalates, and it creates a lot of that. So the key thing to offset that is to make sure to have citruses. But the only reason why people get kidney stones is because they've been drinking soda, and soda is crystallizing. You know, it's it you know creates kidney stones and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's just because it's like cleaning up stuff a little bit too fast. So anyway, um, but I don't have that problem. Like, I don't feel like I'm, like, uh, crystallizing or anything like that in my body. If I'm just, like, eating kale, red shard, you know, collard greens, like, I don't have a problem at all. And making sure to have citrus in it. You know, like, I have, like, um, in my green juice, I always make sure to have some lemon. I have some, like, um, you know, orange juice or something citrusy. So, I'm making sure to always have citrusy things and, you know, um, apple cider vinegar, you know, stuff like that. And, but, yeah, that's it, y'all. <laughs> I talk so much. So I finished my salad. Now I'm filling up my water. I'm gonna fill it up. Mm, maybe up to here. Yeah, I think water is the key. So the interesting, I don't know how this is happening, but like I'm able to drink a lot of water. Before I would have a hard time drinking or even remembering to drink. But like this, like this is like half of a gallon. Like, I have no problem drinking this throughout the day. And I might definitely up my, you know, like, drink, like, a full gallon. But I'm not ready to do that yet. But, like, this is good. You know, I don't know how that's possible, but it is. So, yeah, I have my water. Now I need to make my green drink for later, which I'm going to have at 6. Like, that salad, it was very filling, obviously. That was a huge salad. Um, I might, you know, throughout the 
you know, week, my salads might get a little bit smaller, but right now, because I'm transitioning, I want to make sure that I have like a huge salad just so that I don't fall into temptation, you know, especially at work. Sometimes, uh, like, it was just like last week, this guy offered me a free pizza. He was like, oh yeah, you can have a free pizza. And I was like, no, I can't do it. It was like on the 12th. Um, <clears throat> so anyway though, but I, I want to make sure I'm not like at work. If like, if it's starting to get stressful or something, I want to make sure like I don't, you know, use cash to go get me like some Cheez-Its or something like that. So that salad has taken away all cravings throughout the whole day. Like I'm gonna be so content till six o'clock. And even then at six, I'm still gonna be like, uh, I'm kind of like, I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of force myself a little bit to have my green drink. Um, but then I know I'm not gonna be craving other stuff. Anyway, y'all, bye.